terms of uh, electrification, earlier you, you uh, mentioned that long term you don't expect uh, bunker fuel to, to, to be the choice for marine transportation and, and, and things like that. Uh, and, and you think that LNG would, would gain market share. And so what is the outlook? What's the timeline for some of that? Well, ships last a long time. So just as with automobiles, if we quit making quit manufacturing internal combustion engines today, we'd still need gasoline you know, 25 years from now, 30 years from now. Um, it's the same with ships, probably only worse. Mm -hmm. and so it's going to take a long time for the fleet to turn over. Um, but we don't have to eliminate CO2 emissions. We just have to change the trajectory yeah. and, and start to reduce them. International trade has pretty much peaked. And that's really a function of the development that's happened in China. They've developed their own consumers and their own manufacturing now. Uh, and most of the developed world is not growing in population. And so that, that's sort of capped global trade. So from a bunker standpoint, bunker's not going to grow a lot. Um, the, uh, there's some improvements you can make on ship efficiency, but not a great deal. Um, but if trade's not growing in terms of tons, um, then you don't need, you don't have this growing source of, of CO2. There's so much crude oil in the world, if you have a choice, 